Hi YouTube. Um, this is my video response for next week. I know it starts on the 23rd, but during the whole week I'm not gonna really have a chance of um, showing you any videos or making any videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and post two toilet topics um, regarding the topic of starting on the 23rd, and that's um, lunch ideas for toddlers. And so um, I'm gonna talk to you about my experience. Um, my son is now 15 months. And for him, what I do is that I try to keep it simple and very balanced. I always worry for him to get veggies on his meals and for him to have um, all the proteins that he needs. So I keep him on a set schedule um, from snack, um, lunch, snack, and dinner, and then um, a late battle. And so if this is every day he goes to the same schedule and every day um, you know, I'll change up the meal so that because toddlers do get bored of the same thing over and over again. And so, um, when he's at daycare, because he's a full daycare child, I try to make sure that in daycare they feel the same schedule that I feel at home, that I do at home. And I don't provide him with mm, his lunch from home in daycare, but I do make sure that I get a lunch menu and since I work at the same daycare, I know that he's getting a good balance um, nutrition source for his um, lunch life. So just yesterday, this is what I gave uh, for my son uh, during lunchtime, and I wanted to talk to you about what I did specifically on that day, on that day so you get an idea. Um, so yesterday was Saturday, and what I did for him at lunchtime was that I cooked some rice and some um, beans, and he loved that. He followed, he he just loves rice and beans. It's like his favorite food in the whole world. So I gave him a serving on a little plate of um, rice and beans, and I boiled some chicken. And I was going to do chicken for me anyway, uh, with salt on it. So I did some chicken and salt, and um, made sure that I really boil it. And I, I put all the seasoning, anything, the, all the regular chicken, just make sure that it was really boiled. Um, for me and from that very same chicken I got some pieces of it and I just kind of um, like cut it real um, tiny I guess so that he could eat it and I put it, I mixed it within the rice and the beans because it's really, and I, you know I know I'm getting off topic in here but don't um, put the actual beans, like I just put the water of the beans, you know um, they, my grandmother would tell me all the time and my mother that the actual beans are like bad for the baby's tummy. So I just put up the water of the beans and the rice and um, little pieces of meat. I would have problem with my toddler for eating meat and for eating veggies. So it's easier for me to get him to eat veggies than for me to get him to eat any kind of meat. I don't know why, but it's just like that. So what I do is that I, you know I either blend it or I cut it in little pieces or I buy um, those cans of hot dogs and, and meat that come already processed and so that if I am in a really busy day I can just mix that with the rice and at least it's getting some kind of ham or something in there. Um, so what I did yesterday was that I just cut the, um, a little, little, little bit of chicken into tiny pieces and I fed him that. Once he was done with uh, um, the rice and the beans and the meat, I gave him some uh, dessert. And I always have like kind of three types of dessert. And it usually depends. If my son has veggies throughout the day, then at lunchtime or at dinner time, I don't give him these. But this could work also at my son's dessert. Um, so it's just give him one of these little baby um, Gerber. Um, purees and he will take it, he loves his little Gerber puree, these are green beans and Gerber puree and he will take it as a dessert and it's really hurting and has veggies on it. Otherwise I just um, keep the veggies in between snack and breakfast and in uh, lunch and dinner I give him, uh, he could get one of these little um, puddings, uh, chocolate puddings, vanilla puddings, or give him one of these uh, little um, Doroninos, or he could get some um, some yogurt uh, from Activia, usually. So anything like that, just any kind of dessert. Applesauce, really love applesauce. Um, 
I'm gonna show you the bottle of apple pills that I have right now. Well, the that I get at the local supermarket, and this is a great apple pills. It's just back to big bottle, and I give it to my son, and he takes a good plate of these any time of the day. You should give it after lunch or after dinner. Just a good chunk of it. Um, and he will take it and he really loves it. And I give an in a sippy cup or a straw uh, cup lots and lots of water. As much water as it's going to take when he's done eating. I don't give him any kind of milk or anything like that or juice. I just give him plain water. This is a good time for him to drink water since he hasn't really got gotten any water throughout the whole day. Um, so everybody, this is my ideas on, you know, this toddler topic for this week, and this is what I do for my son's lunch or dinner. So any questions, feel free to leave them down below.